guys welcome back to the vlog i'm not quite sure what this vlog is going to be so i guess we'll see it feels really weird wearing black since all i wear is chocolate brown anyways it is currently like 6 45 guys i don't know what happened to me all of a sudden i wake up at 6 30 just naturally today is tuesday so it's mainly a podcasting day it's been kind of hard to vlog recently just because i feel like so much of what i do is just work and i sit in my office and like that's not exciting so i'm gonna try to spice things up this morning we're going to starbucks i know it's like so fun right i actually haven't been to starbucks actually i don't think all year like relax it's only been 19 days but that's still a long time free drink i woke up to realizing that so that's exciting I don't feel like I want to do full, full makeup. These are my current two favorite base products. Rare Beauty if I want like actual coverage. So tomorrow I'm filming, so I'll probably use that. And then this Kosas um, facial oil, which I've told you guys about so many times. If you guys haven't heard me talk about this though, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. It is a facial oil that's basically tinted. So think of like a tinted moisturizer, but it's even lighter than that. It gives you this really beautiful, perfect glow. I would put it kind of in the same genre of like the It Cosmetics CC Cream that I love so much, but this is just different because it's an oil. It's even less like makeup-y. So if you are like a no makeup makeup girl, you need this product, it's the best one. And I also have my Kosas Concealer. I really do like this as well. I've never really gotten into higher end not that this is like super high end, it's just not drugstore. Um, concealers before, because I love my Maybelline one. And I really do like this concealer. I'm not a big concealer girl, like I never use concealer. I don't really have any other makeup on. Okay, so I do bake. I use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. No surprise here. Also guys, I saw a TikTok. Remember when all the girls and I got these cute little Dior friendship bracelets when we were in New York like last, last December? I saw a girl make a TikTok about how her and her best friends got to her matching bracelets. Why didn't I do that? Don't you just hate when that happens? Someone has a better TikTok than you when you've done the same thing. It's really hard, you know? I'm going to do a little light bake. Next, bronzer. By the way, I use Morphe brushes and I love them. I got the Jaclyn Hill um, set and I really, really like them. Next up, blush. I use it in Cosmetics Blush in Magic Hour or Heaven's Glow. I used to not like blush back in the day and boy, was I wrong. I feel like everyone goes to this realization of realizing that like blush is actually great. <sighs> My favorite, um, the Hourglass powder. The Hourglass Ambient Light setting powder and then I get the Dim Light. I love this stuff, I've used it forever. This especially paired with the A Cosmetic CC Cream makes your skin look so beautiful. I'm really throwing it back with my Becca highlighter. This is literally champagne pop. This was the biggest crave on YouTube, but it is a really, really pretty highlighter. And I picked it up a few months ago and I'm like, why did I stop using this? Is highlighter so cool or are we not doing that anymore? I'm not really quite sure why I wanted to do a full makeup thing, but I just wanted to feel ready today. Oh, okay, on Instagram story recently, I was just talking about how with work lately, I think with a combination of, no, actually I'm gonna talk about this in the car. Oh, you know what? I also have another Kosas product. You guys are really getting a review. This is the mascara. I don't love how it got really gross and dirty, but I think it's really cute packaging. I do like this. It's really buildable. I found at the beginning, I thought it was a little bit clumpy, but then I worked how to use it and I actually really like this mascara. I'm gonna use the Bite Beauty. Packaging on this is like perfect. I love how the wand is really big and it gives you a kind of a light mascara look, which I love. The lip products, I'm using an M Cosmetics lip liner and then a MAC lipstick. I forgot how moisturizing these lipsticks are, they're the best. Look at how cute my flowers are looking. Also, if you guys haven't seen Coco's latest sweater, it is so cute. It's from Claws in Effect on Etsy. It is so cute. I literally just did 30 seconds with the air wrap. Here's what I'm wearing today. Not my favorite outfit ever, but it's really cozy. This sweater is Revolve. I want it in every color. It is so long. It's so cozy. It feels like you're wearing a blanket, but it's also really chic. I have this white turtleneck on from Nasty Gal. These black pants are also Revolve. And then my shoes are Prada lookalikes from Princess Polly. So I'll have them linked down below. I was just trying out the trend, seeing if I liked them. I want to talk about a few things. Actually, this is a side note, but I just think it's so funny because a friend of mine also posted this last night, but I just feel like 
on the internet when I'm actually doing the worst emotionally and right now I'm actually doing really really well I'm saying this now because I actually am doing really well you know when after something hits and it's just so bad and then so many things hit at once and you're just in the middle of the chaos and then at the end of that as you're kind of coming out of it then you're at the point where you're like wow I'm actually like really proud of who I've become and I really feel good and you know that's the phase that I'm in right now anyways with that being said I have really not been in that phase for the past like six months and it's so funny because because I got so many messages from you guys of oh my gosh you just seem so much happier you look so much happier all of this stuff and it wasn't that I wasn't being honest online like I was pretty upfront about where I was at I don't really know what it is but I just got so many messages saying that when I was at one of my like worst places my friend posted something about that the other day same thing it's just so interesting because people were like so convinced Anyways, with that being said, I actually do feel so much better now than I did before. Okay, but what I really want to talk about, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on this week's podcast episode intro, but I wanted to talk about this because I'm sure I'm not alone in this, where I have been feeling really anxious and overwhelmed with work recently. And I think it's a combination of having a lot of new year motivation and wanting to do everything at once and then trying to restructure my days and maybe just like putting too much on my plate or going from a year where it was a little bit slower so it could be a combination of new year motivation and getting really excited and wanting to do everything at once and me just not having patience and just wanting to literally do everything at once and even to the point where like my mainly just to the point where my day-to-day -day workload is just too much but my day-to-day -day, I allowed it to be a lot slower and now that I'm kind of trying to go back up to picking up the pace to kind of where I, I normally am maybe I'm just getting overwhelmed I don't know I think it's a combination of like that and New Year's motivation to where I have just been like oh my gosh there's so much I feel really anxious and overwhelmed and I've gone back a little bit to like my overworking tendencies I've just been feeling like a little bit all over the place with that so I'm going to talk about that in this week's podcast intro so go listen and how I'm like and how I am making sure I don't do that like for instance, one thing today, I decided that I am going to do an evening workout, obviously, instead of a morning workout. Clearly I'm like, you know, going to Starbucks right now. The reason that I do enjoy evening workouts though is because it breaks up my day. Or even if I do a workout, where sometimes I'll just do it in the middle of my work day to kind of break up the work. Sorry for the blinker. I'm like in the middle of the road, just in the Starbucks line, you know, story of my life. That's it. I'll see you at the window, thank you. Thank you. I know. This is my Christmas drink, and I said I don't get it outside of Christmas, even though it's not technically seasonal. But I'm just not ready to let go. Also, guys, I'm listening to Margot's new podcast. I am so excited for her. She's been wanting to do this for so long, and it's so incredible. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good day. This does not look great, so we'll see. All right, so I'm in the office. It's only 8 a.m. I got an early start on my day today to make sure that I'm not overworking myself and getting anxious and overwhelmed. I tend to go on walks. I have to anyways with the dogs, but going on walks really helps me. Like I said, I love an evening workout because then that signals that I'm done if I do it in the evening. Sometimes I'll just do it throughout the day. Just certain things. So I am going to get some work done. I'm recording with Maggie today and then um, I'm actually scheduling a lot more, at a lot of recordings. I actually have the next few months, I think almost booked. I think we're getting Margot on actually like really soon. So that'll be exciting. Taste test for my drink to see if it is actually right. It says it's right here, but it just, it's okay. Another thing too that's been helping me with being overwhelmed is just writing things down. Constantly when my notes app I feel and I always have like to-do lists and things like that on the notes app, which normally really works for me. This week I was like, I have to just write everything down and I just have so many notes and it has been really helping me so i would also recommend that all right guys it's 10 40 a lot has happened today let me tell you first off really cool like business opportunity that i've been wanting to do for a long time just like appeared in my inbox this morning so i have another call for that i've been on the phone with the bank like all morning trying to get like a new account set up blah 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 a bunch of like behind the scenes you know tax stuff and business and like what I'm registering the living room as and blah 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 by the way in the living room we now have a lot more tiers so it's cheaper depending on what you want um we have a lot of options so check it out all of the tiers get the zoom bible study so it's like barely anything the lowest tier is like two dollars a month so I'm also looking into ClickUp for organization for work Natalie Barbu posted off me yesterday I love her I'm like looking into it and getting all my stuff organized and I'm just really looking forward to it so today's been a really good day 
and I've crossed so much off my to-do list. This is why I love starting work early because I just feel like I've gotten so much done. I have one more call, actually I have two more calls for the day. I'm almost done with the work that I need to do after, so just giving you guys a little update. I am so excited though if this project actually works out. We just had a call already. If the project actually works out, you guys would be so excited. Update on my house. Um, we're looking at another at least two weeks. So that's unfortunate. If you guys didn't know, we unfortunately have some water damage. That is not good. So working on that right now um, hasn't been the most fun thing ever. But at the end of the day, I still have a house. So I'm grateful and I still have an upstairs and I still have the gym. So, um, I'll be fine. I just am so affected by my environment. So, like, that downstairs is really bothering me. And I just want everything to be done. I also am in the middle of, like, picking out new stuff. So, it's okay. I'm not here complaining. Just giving you guys a little update on the haunted house situation downstairs. So great, right? I just recorded for the living room. Alright, guys. I think I finished the work day. I got a quote on my kitchen. There's so much happening. Even though my house will be a mess for the next few weeks at the end of it. Hopefully everything will be good. I have been waiting to wear this. I don't know why. I just got this new set from set and I was just like waiting for the perfect day. Like what, what does that even make sense? It doesn't. I just, especially with my hair down, I literally feel like a Barbie in this because it's just bright pink and I love it guys. I am so excited. So I'm gonna go to Houston 12, 3, 30. Um, I'm gonna clean downstairs even though there's nothing to do there. And um, just get some workouts in, things like that. So I'm done with my work day. I'm feeling good. Oh, by the way, I'm going to just clue you guys in on what happened. So I have been wanting to make breadwinning housewife clothes, like sets, for so long. I can set you up right here, actually. Okay, so I have been hearing all of your DMs, your comments, messages. A lot of you guys actually really want breadwinning housewife merch, which like makes me feel good because it's not just me wanting to do it. It's not even gonna be merch. I wanted to work with the right partner, okay? I have been praying. I have been trying to figure it out for so long, like months. We've had calls, we've had things just that I didn't wanna work with, things like that, okay? This morning, I got an email that's, and then we had on the call that actually seems like they would be the perfect partner and so I'm not for sure I haven't gone through contract and things like that yet but my manager called me after and she's like you should take your followers like with you through the process it's gonna be very simple designs like something you'd actually wear out in public but I'm gonna take you guys with me through the design prog process not progress on Instagram so follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna be going through it on Instagram just because it's more real time than a vlog would be and then at the end we'll do a whole vlog of like the whole process and whatnot and I'm really 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 excited for this guys so i'm gonna go clean for like 30 minutes downstairs just get the place so clean oh by the way this morning something i didn't vlog was that fitz decided that he wanted to throw up all over my couch so that was so nice of him so i had to clean my couch and do all that but i'm gonna go downstairs i'm gonna get to cleaning get to figuring my life out and we will chat soon all right guys, I just cleaned everything. Feels so much better. I'm gonna go work out. I've been listening to some podcasts. What a good day. I feel like I did a good job with boundaries and working hard and being where I'm at where I'm, and being where I'm at when I'm there versus just like stressing out about everything else I have to do. Just worked out and went on a walk. I feel so good. I'm gonna cook dinner, listen to a podcast, maybe take a bubble bath. I just love my life back on my night routine. What a sweetie pie. Oh, look at how handsome you are. It is time for a nice bath. So I have my pajamas. Also, I'm really excited because I got these in the mail today from Summer Fridays. I recorded a podcast episode with Mariana. I'm sure you guys have already heard about it in the vlogs, but she is the co-founder of Summer Fridays. So they sent over some goodies. I've been wanting to try this. This is their cloud gel, oil-free gel cream. So I'm really excited. Um, this is baby moon, obviously. I'm not pregnant, but um, they said this is really hydrating anyway, so I really wanted to try it just as like a lotion. I've actually never tried their R&R &R mask, which I've always wanted to do, so I'm excited. I love the jet lag one. And then you guys already know, this is one of my favorite products ever. It's their lip balm. I'll have it linked below. I'll have all these products linked below, but if you get anything that I honestly, anything that I ever really talk about, I would get the Summer Fridays lip balm. There's really, truly nothing like Morning everyone. I just got home from my little Wednesday morning um, coffee tradition. Just got water on myself because I also make cold beer from home. I'm wearing my OK Sis 
my okay sis set. I had on my cute beige coat. It was a, it was like way more of a look five seconds ago. Anyways, today um, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna vlog because it's not a very exciting day. I have like bank calls. You guys are really hi. They just want attention. Um, both of them. Are the same. You know, if it's conveniently you're right in front of the camera. <laughs> hi boy. Um, I have bank calls and just like not exciting things that I'm doing all day, so I probably won't vlog that much today. Also, by the way, if you guys haven't seen their cute little bandanas, let me show you. Coco's isn't on right now because I took that collar off, but so cute. I just attached them to their collars. They're from Shop Revival, which is where I get my keychains from. But anyways, I'm going to head off to my office and get some work done. Oh my gosh, guys. Good morning, guys. Thursday morning, 7 a.m. I'm about to go get coffee at a new coffee shop that I have been so excited for to open in Dallas called Bernie Bean. This is my ultimate like guilty pleasure snack and I brought it all the way upstairs last night and there was none in there, so great. I'm just wearing this very cozy outfit. The top is a white long sleeve from Maritzia, my favorite jeans from Princess Polly. This cardigan is Revolve and then my Uggs as always, but this is pretty much what I live in these days. I actually did rollers in my hair this morning, guys. I'm just like playing around with them. I have not perfected it. Clearly, it's only my second time. So I apologize for this vlog this week. I'm trying my absolute best to make it a great vlog, but it's been hard because obviously my house, so I can't really like film so many things I want to because it's too loud downstairs, but we're gonna pick things up. I just wanna talk about my newfound early mornings too, guys. In 2020, I found it so hard every morning to wake up. I just felt like I was exhausted exhausted even if I was waking up at like 7 45 or 8 which is really late for me I just am a morning person and I go to bed really early so I used to wake up at like 5 a.m. every morning in LA and all I have wanted was to be able to just wake up at 6 with energy it's like literally all I've wanted it's like to the point where I'm like begging in prayer because I'm so tired of having like really tired sluggish slow mornings and I work out I drink so much water I like watch what I eat I've done all of that okay all of a sudden a few weeks ago I started waking up at 6 30 just naturally like wide awake and so now I'm pushing myself to wake up at 6 and I don't say all this to be like oh my god I'm waking up so early or whatever it just one I'm just so happy that I can now and I just am asking more so questions like has this happened to you and maybe is there something I changed that like I'm not aware of also just keep in mind like I'm just not a night person so I go to bed at 10 and that's like sleeping like I was in bed probably at 8 like I am just I am just a morning girl through and through it also makes me feel so much better I get so much more done I feel like a healthier human being I also I've been using the five minute journal and I really love it it's not that I was cynical of the journal I recognize especially things like that it's like right up my alley you know but I just underestimated how much of a difference it would make in my day. I, 10 out of 10, cannot recommend it enough. It's just so great. Charm. Another standout is the Dewey Serum. If you're into serum, this is incredible. It's six times, okay? And the Dewey Serum. All right, I'm downtown. There it is, guys. It's so cute. She sent me or dropped off the cutest little Christmas package um, last month. So I'm really excited to support, but it's a new local coffee shop. So if you guys are in Dallas, definitely check it out. <laughs> It was a little bit of a fail. I got there at 7.30. I thought they opened at 7.30, but they weren't there. Anyways, it was fine. I just walked over to Weekend Coffee, which is one of my fave coffee spots in Dallas. It's in the Jewel Hotel. It's just super. Comment below if you guys want me to do an entire video on, like, Dallas spots or series. I just, I know that's so niche, so that's why I normally do it on, like, TikTok. But I get questions 24-7, and I feel like I have some good recs. Anyways, I'm heading home. Today is a, another working from home day. This, I have like a bunch of calls. Actually, today we have anti-racism training with my agency that I'm like signed with, not like my agency that I own. This is our second one. We have to do, I think we do two annually or you're like dropped, I'm pretty sure. I love that they have us do this. I think it's really important. So that's happening. A new episode went up this morning with Maggie. I'm actually about to listen to it. I'm gonna make myself listen to my podcast episodes this year so I can just know when I need to improve. Um, so that's that's that for this morning back with the haunted house to make this clip quick But the first thing I wanted to do is show you guys 
my new case to buy package, our friend Quentin. He is a part of the Uncomfortable. He's really good friends with Dom. I'm sure you guys have seen his stuff everywhere. He's honestly probably my favorite graphic designer. I think his stuff is incredible. He did a collaboration with Case Defy. Look at how cute, evolve or repeat. And then also this one is loving kindness goes a long way. So cute. I don't know which one I'm gonna put on my phone first. I haven't decided. So be sure to go shop these cases. Also Case Defy, like packaging is so incredible. This is for a phone case. Oh, and AirPod Pro, an AirPods Pro case, which I need to get new AirPods Pros because I broke mine. I copied Molly and I've always loved her glasses. She has the best glasses for her iced coffee in the morning and they're actually beer glasses. She sent me the link, so that's how I picked these out. They look so nice. So I got four. So I made cold brew yesterday. I feel so proud of myself. I've been at my desk for a few hours. I just changed into a set active set. This is a sports bra with the one shoulder. It's really cute. Honestly, I'm crashing and I'm about to get on a few Zoom calls and then I have FaceTime therapy. So. I just made myself a little iced coffee from the cold brew I made and then with my new milk frother that I'm really excited for. I'm just trying to get a little second wind because I really need to work out in a few hours as well and I need some energy. My work day is over. My room, guys, I'm just so in love with my room because it's so cozy, just feels so good. Fitz is... Hi, boy. Anyways, I'm about to go watch, I almost said watch 12.30. I'm about to go do 12.30 and then probably do, I think I'll probably watch Brooke's vlog. Picking out what video you're gonna watch in 12.30 is like quite the commitment, you know? I think the vlog is picking up now. If you guys just don't want vlogs when like my life is like this and just not very exciting, tell me, but like I say this and then you guys are like, no, we still want vlogs. And then I do the vlog and I'm like, it's not good though. And then you guys are still like, please post it. So now that I have done it, you guys can tell me the honest truth that you don't care to see these vlogs and it's okay. No one's feelings are hurt. I get it. Another update, um, of course the people are trying to overcharge me, so thank God my dad was like absolutely not, and my dad's handling a lot of the house stuff. I might have to like go move, <laughs> like stay at a hotel, because who knows how long this will take. And then I can live my best sweet life of Zach and Cody dreams, so we will see. I showered, and now I'm gonna take you guys through my post shower, well took a nice relaxing bath, but I'm gonna take you guys through my nice little routine. I have pajamas on and a sweater just because it's cold in here. And I'm gonna be answering some true or false questions on Instagram throughout the night. First one is you're not buying a new car anymore. And I'll answer that in a second. I use my Lux Unfiltered Tanner, by the way, after this is the best stuff ever. Now I'm gonna go in with, ooh, I can't do that actually. Now I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer and the face tanning drops and combine these together. Also guys, I literally have no idea like when I did this because I don't have this problem anymore, but it's just the patch. Like when did I even have I don't know. I can buy these two, but Lux Unfiltered is my favorite self tanner. These face tanner drops are bomb. I shared a few months ago that I was looking for a new car and I wanted to buy um, a new car. I was looking at a Range Rover and very seriously, but I was kind of taking you guys through the process. So I was like really, really close. Like the morning of, I thought I woke up thinking I was sending a car that day. Basically, it fell through, which honestly now, that I know what my life is gonna look like over the next few months was a very big blessing in disguise. I like my car now and I'm not in a rush. I will at some point, but it's not like top of priority right now. I'm also putting a lot of money into like projects that I'm already doing right now. That's like my own money going into things. So I'm not like, I need a new car right now. <laughs> the lighting in this bathroom is so unflattering. But the next thing I do is I brush out my hair and I use this product i don't even really know what it is i know it's like a good leave-in it's for blonde hair my sister told me to get it i'll link it below i really like it of course i get so many questions about the breakup you don't want to tell us why you guys broke up you miss having a boyfriend um what else do we have <laughs> you regret getting back with your ex after your first breakup and that just like goes on and on and i totally get why i get the questions because i really did never address it for like quite a few reasons the first reason being that like right now that I just honestly simply don't care. And I know that sounds harsh. I just feel like I'm so far past that in my life. It was months ago at this point. I kind of already been through it before and I'm just so over it. It doesn't even really come to mind. Like I don't care, people in my life, we're all over it. Everyone's over it. So I feel like 
because it's not something that's so prevalent in my life right now, it's just not something I want to talk about. The second thing that obviously involves another person, and so like I'm respectful of privacy in that. And the third being that I was never, I wasn't able to address it in the way that I would have wanted to. Like Lauren and I actually went through the break, our breakups legit the same week. So it's been like really helpful to have her, but I was kind of jealous of her because she was able to like address, I literally look, in, I literally look insane right now. She was able to like address her breakup when she was like ready and when it was the right time. And in my situation, this last time around, it was like 24 hours later and I woke up to like 100 DMs because a lot of photos had been deleted, I guess. And so from that, I was kind of like forced to address it like prematurely, which is fine, like totally okay. Because of that, I was never able to like come on like what, a month or two later and be like, hi guys, like yes, this happened and address it in a way that like I would have been able to be like, this is what I learned or this is where I'm at or like I brought something of value to you guys. And then ultimately, I think I just got over it, honestly. I don't know, I honestly am just such a different person now. I love who I am even more. I think I, it's not that I didn't love who I was in that relationship. I just think that I've grown so much and I am in just a much, much better headspace from the past few months. And obviously, like, I wish everyone who's ever been in my life the absolute best. I want nothing but good for them, but that's just kind of where I'm at. I moved on. I just don't care. It's not really something that I care to talk about. I would never sit here and like dish out the details of a breakup. I did record an episode that was actually already planned with Amy Chan, who's like a breakup coach who actually wrote a book that's really, really good and really helpful. Also, I'm in therapy. Also, my whole family's around me and like they were there through it all. So yeah, that's just where I'm at. I feel like I'm just really honestly fully moved on from it. Like very moved on, you know? But answering the questions about like, do you regret getting back together, blah, 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 whatever. No, I don't regret it. You miss having a boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. I think like I would want a boyfriend in like a very healthy, great relationship where that person is also very healthy. That is what I would like want, but I also really love being single and I'm having fun and like being able to have like friends just come and live with me and like, I don't know, I just have a lot of freedom. So not really, I'm just in a really good place and that's that. But I am sorry that I just like said, yeah, that's it and like never talked about it because normally I am more open on my channel, but I don't know, I just like respect other people's privacy. I needed to kind of process through it, go through it, deal with it, handle it, whatever, before I could like come on and I wasn't given the chance to do that. And then also by the time that I was at that point, I was like, I don't wanna like sit here and talk about it. Okay guys, I'm in my room. It feels so good in here, so cozy. So I decided tonight I'm legit on my ninth book of 2021 and it is only, January 21st right now, so I need to chill out. I decided that tonight I'm going to watch a show and go on Pinterest and DoorDash because I have DoorDash credits. That is what I am doing. Hi, Coco, you were so crazy. And then I'll answer more um, true or false questions. I think I'm gonna start watching The Wilds tonight. Hopefully I like that because I am so bad at like paying attention to shows. I can pay attention to a book, no problem, but shows are just too hard for me. My Velvet Taco, oh my gosh. Hi, Fitz. My velvet taco has arrived, so suddenly he's on the bed. This is my favorite food. I'll answer a few more before I am off my phone for the night. I'm really excited to watch a show, eat some food, and just kind of relax. Oh my god, I get this one all the time. You love your dogs both equally, but Fitz gets more attention because he's bigger slash the baby. And I get comments that are like, you don't even pay attention to Coco, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. I don't know if you guys realize, but Coco, literally, she's sitting right here, is seven pounds. Fitz is 50 plus and is going to be 75 pounds. He gets in the way of the camera all the time. I spend equal amount of time with them. I do equal amount. Fitz requires more um, like attention and obviously like activity. Coco just gets what he gets because I do everything with both of them. Fitz is getting training now because he's a puppy. No, I do not have a favorite. It's really crazy. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say he gets more attention, I think. Honestly, Coco Coco's like a lap dog. She's literally with me 24-7 and Fitz will go lay in another room for like hours. You do your morning routine every single day. So I have different routines for different days. Every morning, what I do for sure though is I do my Devo, my five minute journal, and then I drink a lot of water and I get some form of movement. So if I don't do my normal workout in the morning, I go on a long walk. Um, and then I'll do my workout in the evening. So like, yes, I do like rituals and habits that I have every day. Hey, that I see you over there. Nice try. Another one. You feel like you always have to, okay, the dogs. You feel like you always have to fit the type of persona you have created on the internet. 
I haven't created a persona. I've just like been myself and shared my life. So I don't feel that way at all. I think on the other hand though, like I do share a lot of my life and there are definitely parts of my life I look back on. And I just don't even like like myself. I just feel like I've grown so much and I'm a different person, honestly. Um, so like I grow and evolve and I feel like that's pretty evident in my videos over time And I don't really ever feel held back because like an old version of me is on the internet You miss Dom. Yes, but Dom did book her flight back So comment down below what date you guys think Dom is coming. You're crazy when you move to LA Um, no, this is probably because I talk about I recently talked about my wild phase a little bit on the podcast with Maggie that just went up because we talk about alcohol and all that stuff no, not when I moved to LA. I definitely went through like a little like party phase, but even at that, I definitely like went through like a party phase, but I wouldn't say I was wild when I moved to LA. You wish you could change Fitz's name. Absolutely not. I think Fitz's name is so cute. If you guys didn't know, he's named after Fitz from Scandal. So no. Okay, maybe I'll answer more of these tomorrow because these are cute. The dogs just really want my attention, so I need to go play with them. I love you. I love you so much. Okay, well, the rest of tonight, I'm just watching the show and just having a little me night, which I'm really Good morning, guys. It's Friday morning. I have my coffee. I just got dressed. I actually curled my hair today. I don't know why I haven't actually, like, done my hair recently. I'm also wearing, like, my favorite set that I own. It's from Revolve. I'll link it below. Speaking of, I'm here to show you guys a Revolve haul. It's currently 9 a.m. Little Fitz has dog training today. Very bougie dog. You can't even see him right now. He's just laying right here. He has a private trainer come to the house. I act, I got a really good deal on it. But it's like socially distanced and masked. It's only one person. He's been doing a really good job. He's easily the most intelligent and easiest to train dog out of any dog we've ever had. When like both my families, which is like literally 10 dogs. Everyone says that he's just so smart. When people say they want a dog like a family dog, Fitz is like everyone's dream dog. Love you. And then Coco is like, every girl in their like 20s stream dog you know what i mean you guys are both the dream things to show you i'm really excited the first thing being this top which i wanted to wear today because i already have the matching pants but i think that they're in my um i think they're in the laundry right now but this is really cute when i have matching pants it's just like a really cute how many times can i say cute it's a really good set this is gifting, but I order myself and I keep ordering the wrong colors because like i don't know why i keep getting sparkly things because like i don't wear sparkly things but this is cute. Maybe it'll have its moment. It's not registering as sparkly on camera. I like the cut of it, but, but it still is really cute and pretty. I feel like this would have been perfect for the holidays, but like, I'm gonna wear it. Intermission for a Princess Polly look. I have this pink neon cowboy hat, and then I've had this vision for a photo for like a year. So I bought this um, for the photo, and this will be used probably as like a Halloween costume in the if that ever happens. It's literally this like bright pink. Skirt like this is just not something I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day. This is like specifically for this one look that I need to create and then just like a pink top. You'll see it's fun Okay. Oh next thing. So I Love this like love 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 love. Okay, basically it looks like pajamas But it's a set so it's this black set you can kind of see it's very yeah It's lined a little bit and then same thing with the top, but the springtime, I'm just gonna live in sets that look like pajamas and like really nice sandals. That's my look this spring. So, very excited about this. Speaking of sets, of course, I got another. I thought this one was cute. It's a lot more see through, but it's fun. It's kind of like an orangey color that I don't normally wear, but like I'm into it. Cute too if I like go to a ranch or something, you know? I really have this fixation on ranches right now, guys. Okay, then I got these. The underwear is lined, the rest is like a little bit see through mesh, but. Super cute. I got these shorts and there's a matching top that I didn't get, that I didn't get in this package, but I think it might be on its way. They're so soft, like the quality is unreal. By the way, I'll link all this stuff below. So while we're here, I'm gonna answer some more true or false questions. You don't listen to music much. I listen to music like 24 seven. I always have music playing in my house. I love a good Nora Jones, which, um, Frank Sinatra, Montel Fish. Um, Daniel Caesar. That's kind of what I have playing in the house. Just I really care a lot about making my house feel very calm. I could do an entire video literally on like how I cold. Okay, I literally am about to hate myself so much for what I'm gonna say, but I could do an entire video for how to like cultivate a vibe or something. Someone has a better way to say that. Let me know. But I could. I'm very passionate about it. In your home is what I was saying. You were really quiet and shy in high school. Absolutely not. Okay, when I tell people this in real life, they like don't believe me. I was held back, or not held back, I just had an extra year of preschool 
because I was so shy. So I don't know, is that help? I, think, I guess that's being held back. Because I was so shy and I tell people that now and I'm extremely outgoing and they're like, I don't believe you. And so like basically all throughout school for the most part, I was really outgoing. So no, I wasn't shy. You're very attached to your dogs. Yes, seeing as how I've already done a whole clip about fitness training this morning. Also just like living on your own and having dogs. One, it's so good for mental health. It's really good for like having responsibilities, taking care of things, and just like having dog. Like even right now, they're with me, and it's just so fun, you know. Okay, guys, you need to see him right now. He's just staring. Fitz, hi. You are so handsome. How are you doing? Oh, he's posing for the picture or for the camera. Hi, 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 hi. You are so cute. You are so cute. He's so handsome. Guys, like, oh, he's just so sweet. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. Oh, thank you so much for that. Okay, I got a question that said your family wasn't really into politics and then you kind of found that in LA. My step siblings, which there's a lot of them, are all on like the exact same page that I'm at. Actually, like we text all the time. Also, one of my best friends, Maddie Trapp, if you guys have been a long time viewer, you know her because she's like OG, OG YouTube days. She really educated me. I remember when Ferguson happened, we were probably like early high school. She like educated me on a lot of things and what was happening and like opened my eyes really. And then I moved to LA when I was actually in high school. No, it was my senior year of high school. Moving to a place where there's so many people of different backgrounds and learning from them and just seeing life in a totally different way than like your affluent suburb of Dallas obviously opens your eyes to things and you learn things and see things. That Hi guys, I'm editing. I wanted to add, there is this quote that is distance creates distortion in proximity creates passion so basically what I was saying is like when I was surrounded by even more people of diverse backgrounds it obviously like makes you more passionate because those are your neighbors and those are like your people you know what I mean not that I, I wasn't really before honestly I was living in LA in the ages that like you really can actually like start to vote and things like that too definitely opens up your perspective in your mind that's why I think it's so great to at some point in your life like move away from your hometown definitely affected me in so many ways especially as far as like empathy also update I get questions on if I like this bag a lot and let me just wear it the right way so I don't bother some of you guys this bag is like the best thing to ever happen to me it's so easy I just haven't had a crossbody in years like I don't know why I haven't I just always have shoulder bags but I love this purse, cannot recommend it enough. I will link it below. But if you guys are considering investing in any like designer bag, I honestly would probably say go for this one. Cheers everyone, off to the office we go. It's a few hours later, I just got back from lunch with Michelle. Brooke just texted me and asked me if I wanted to do a clubhouse with her, which is like an app for, it's like really cool. Basically you listen to conversations live on certain topics. So it's really good for learning, networking, things like that. I'm about to hop on that call. Question guys, what do you guys think I should do for this office? I keep going back and forth. This weekend, the biggest thing on my agenda is that I'm going to rearrange all my Pinterest boards and decide and plan out the rest of what I want and what I really want to do with this room specifically and like my look downstairs. Risa, some of my favorite drinks ever. They're so good. They're hemp drinks so they really help calm you down. Love them. I have a code, use code Kinsey for 15% off or it's Kinsey15, I can't remember. But I also think like there's so many people who just want to do it because they want to be healthy. Like I watch like certain what I eat in a day healthy videos because I want to get good meal ideas to make at home. You know, like I don't think it has to be like that and then if it is something Obviously that's triggering like some sort of warning for like other people and like they can just not watch that video But I also think that that would be good as far as growth because you you said like over winter break or whatever You were watching so many of those uh -huh. Yeah, I, I mean you find the people and then you're like, oh, I like you know their meal ideas, whatever We were on clubhouse for legit like three hours It was really nice because we were talking but and then I could just do like stuff that I need to do on my computer Anyways, that is going to be it for this week in my life vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, let me know by giving a thumbs up. Comment below if you guys would prefer daily or weekly vlogs. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.